Hello, everyone, and welcome back to No Hold Dark, the channel where sometimes we talk about relevant stuff, sometimes it's electronics, and sometimes it's makeup. And yes, today it is definitely makeup, most specifically, Elf Cosmetics. So, if you're the type of person that does tune in for the makeup videos, this is the one that you want to tune into. If you're the type of person that comes around here for my little jobs at society, stay tuned, there might be some of those in here too as well. And as well, I want to take the time to thank every single one of you that are coming back. And if you want to subscribe, please do so. If you don't want to, I'm cool with that. That's all I get anyway. Um, but first, I do want to apologize if you can hear my air conditioning. It's, it's on. It's on the lowest setting because it's hot here. I am also getting over a cold. I caught a cold on Canada Day, which was July 1st. We're currently July 10th. July 1st was so cold here in Eastern Canada, which is, is unusual. It's not supposed to be that cold at this time of year, but it was. It was so cold that my heaters actually kicked in, in my apartment. Um, I never like turned them all the way down because it was just warm and they were just never kicking in. They kicked in, and now since about July 3rd, we've had an extreme heat wave. And I do not say this in, in any way against anybody. I don't mean this to be racist at all. It's just a simply, it's just simply a comment of something that I have noticed. The city I live in has one of the few French speaking universities in the country. And some of their departments, including the engineering department and their law department, are some of the best in the country. And it's also one of like the cheapest universities to attend. So we do have a lot of people from Africa who can speak French that come to this city in order to attend that university. And then sometimes they end up, you know, applying for permanent residency and sometimes they become citizens and all that kind of whatnot. And I'm cool with that. I am personally cool with that. If you want to come to my country, and you're going to contribute to society in any way, shape, or form. Either you know, you're going to be working, paying taxes, having a job, going to university, becoming a doctor, becoming whatever. You can be a janitor for all I care. If you're coming here to have a better life and you're going to contribute to our country, welcome. Thank you. Come in. We got enough room for you. But I say this for a reason. Because when I say it's been warm in a heat wave, it's fucking hot. So. When the immigrants from Africa, who are used to the African climate, aka the desert, are lining up at Walmart to buy fans and air conditioning, it's freaking hot in Canada. And right now we're just getting like daily warnings about like heat and all that kind of whatnot. So I do apologize about if you can hear the air conditioning on. Um, and, and speaking of like this, is my new phone. On. Blackberry. I just want to apologize again. If the phone rings, I do have to take that call. Um, it's another specialist, so it's my sixth health specialist that I'm going to see this year only. I'm not complaining. I'm thankful they're looking into my health, but this one is especially for my eyes. Um, I need to go to that appointment to find out if I'm actually legally blind or not. But it's also important for me to go to that meeting as well because, I mean, I fall sometimes quite a bit. I hit my head on stuff because I can't see very well. With all of that, the emergency room doctors here are now talking about a service dog to be with me all the time. So I really need to take this call if it comes in because it is an appointment with an ophthalmologist so they can look at my eyes and see what's going on. And, um, yeah, I have contacts. I don't have glasses on today. So I was able to get some contacts, and I can wear them uh, a little bit. For about four to six hours a day, two or three times a week. They're the dailies kind, the kind that you, like, throw out. I learned so much while getting these contacts. I will make an entire video about that later on, because you can buy contacts online. And if you don't know what you're doing, um, you could seriously hurt yourself. And I almost... I almost did until I went and got all the proper information so I'll bring that to you later okay enough of that stuff enough about me let's talk about what you're all here to see which is the elf cosmetics 
Um, why e.l.f. Cosmetics? Well, I started with e.l.f. Cosmetics, and I only started, like, being into makeup and my beauty journey about two and a half years ago. And at that time, I didn't have the part-time job. I didn't have the extra income that I have now. Um, so I was just buying, like, things here and there when they're on sale, mostly, like, drugstore things, like, quite in a while. Um, I started watching Kristen Leanne. She's the first person I started watching with makeup on YouTube. Great personality. I mean, I just think she's great. I will share her channel below. She's got, like, three because she's so into, like, all her pets. They're so cute. Um, which is why, from listening to her, I am a big, you know, cruelty-free type of person. One day I was watching a video with Patricia Bright and she was just talking about like Elf Cosmetics and how the quality was amazing. So I was like, wow, this sounds like something I'm able to afford. So I went onto their website and I'm like, whoa, things are like a dollar, things are like two dollars. Because you can actually still get things for one dollar to this day on the Elf website on the regular price. Now, this order happens to be from their semi-annual sale. And this is something they do pretty much every year. Usually between the Christmas holidays and sometimes in the summer, usually like after school comes out, they will have like a semi-annual sale where things are like 60% off, sometimes even more. Um, I can get things at like 80 cents. I can get things for like $2. Things are, I mean, the regular prices are super affordable anyway, but I mean, why not get things when they're on sale? Including brushes, all right? Because they have some of the best brushes. And I'm not just saying this because I want to get on the good side. Because I already am on the good side. We have a good, you know, working relationship and all that. whatnot. not. They know who I am. I know who they are. We've had a little bit of a thing in the past where there was a customer service issue. We're over that, you know, customer service. Every once in a while you get a bad apple, all right? But the quality of their stuff still remains excellent. So, I mean, I'm not going to ditch the company because I had, you know, one bad incident. But when I talk about brushes, like, they have, like, amazing brushes. They do have, like, different lines. There's about three lines. So those ones with, like, the white handles. Obviously, I have a few of those. I love those just for, like, you know, eye brushes and stuff like that. And then they have the, the black handle ones, which, in my opinion, are their best line. They do have a newer... I oh, ignore the fact that you can hear the fire department. It's at the street. Um, they do have a newer line that have, like, silver handles. As they are good. They are. They're just a little bit more expensive than the black handle ones. And the black handle ones are just amazing. That's just... These are all of the black handles that I have, like, so far. Um, I do have, like, the contouring brush. I have it twice. I mean, it's nice and just... That. If you look here, I mean, this one's used, this one's clean. These brushes are super easy to clean. Um, you know, I have a few of them. This is the very coveted um, highlighting brush. Lots of people like. You can pretty much any good YouTuber out there will mention that another once in a while. I do want to talk about these two brushes. Though. Um, with Elf, they're called stippling brushes. With other companies, they might be called dual fiber brushes, like Sigma. Sigma has brushes that are almost identical. Except that Sigma brushes are like 60 bucks. Elf brushes are 6 to $8 regular price. But they do have the dual fiber part on the top. So this white one, this one's a little bit pink because I do use it for blush. Um, it's a little bit stiffer when it comes to the black ones on the bottom. They're very versatile. You can use them for so many things. Mostly if you want to use something that um, is very pigmented and you want to wash out the pigment you still want to use it but you don't want to be over pigmented this is where they come into play so I do have some of those because yes this video is not only just what did I buy in this order but it's also talking about some of my favorite elf products because some of them I have a bunch of them out in front of me here you just can't see them if you could see in my desk you'd laugh it's full of stuff but it's okay I like it that way um there are some things that I love. There are some things that I have repurchased as well. I paid full price for them, which is $8. The full price is $8. Um, and I have other things, again, to show. I just keep them because I love them. I use them, like, every day kind of stuff. And I have some of them that I'm going to be comparing them to the full priced products. It sounds weird saying that, but, like... 
everybody calls like elf stuff like a dupes sometimes sometimes they're just not dupes actually the elf product is actually better we'll get to that later i actually happen to have one of the sephora items at the high 46 dollar price compared to the eight dollar price for the elf product and um yeah i'm just gonna give you the spoiler now the elf product wins so let's get into what's in this box here's the box all right so like i said some things are repurchased some things are favorites and i do have some of my favorites that i want to talk about so i'm just gonna mix them all up because again if i repurchase something i will talk about you know the fact that i i still have another one before and then there are also like you know there's a primer in here there's other primers from elf that i like so i'm gonna be kind of going back and forth between like my favorites and what's in this box um, I hope that's okay with you guys. That's how I'm doing it. If it's confusing, I'm sorry. If that does confuse you, like, let me know on the bottom not to do it that way next time, I guess. Because I am getting a lot of requests for more makeup stuff. And this, again, is something that's affordable. It's a brand that's affordable. You don't need to break the bank. And the quality is, like, Sephora brand quality without paying Sephora prices. So, I mean, I ain't mad at that. One of the first things that we are going to look at is the box itself. Now, I have been buying from e.l.f. Cosmetics for quite a while now. And they have changed their format of their boxes. And they've changed it for the better. A lot of companies out there are changing things to save money. I don't know if this saves them money because it doesn't break the products. Either way, I'm very happy. So one, they now have their name on the outside of the boxes. So, I mean... It's cool, we know what it is. And, um, <clears throat> Canada Post. See, I told y'all that was gonna be a little bit of some snippy doodads in here. Um, Canada Post. It just so happened that I decided to go outside and check to see if the meal had come yet. Because I knew, I was tracking my package, I knew it was up for delivery. And I caught your mail person trying to leave me a little piece of paper saying that I was on home to receive my package. Because he didn't want to walk up the stairs. No. That's not acceptable, Canada Post. Uh-uh. No. But I did catch him red-handed. You should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be trying that anytime soon because he looked like he pooped his pants. He was that scared. Because I was like, um, hey, buddy, that's mine. And he was like, oh, um, anyway. So that was my little tag for that. But Box with Elf Cosmetics, obviously now it has a name on it, so we know it's theirs. But it's packaged so well. So first you break off this part. And then there's more. So you flip this down. And then there's more. And then you flip this. And then if you flip this, then you have the products. So why is this super important, all these layers? It stops the product from flipping around everywhere. In here, you know. Have you ever seen the videos on YouTube of like how postal people handle packages? They throw things everywhere. So they've made a way to have their box hold their product without it flipping around everywhere and without being wasteful because this is all good cardboard and the box comes apart. So I'm gonna just slowly start taking the box apart which can either be recycled. Okay, a little bit difficult, you know, because I have a hard time seeing, but the boxes can either be recycled or if you're someone like around here in Canada where we have wood stoves in the winter to heat our houses, because most of us do, um, it can be used for kindling. And then you left the box like this. See? Easy peasy. Japanesey. And I think it's just pineapples. And pineapples means it's a very awesome thing. And bananas mean something is stupid. Because I swear too much in life and I needed to learn to stop swearing. So I use other words. All right, so what's in here? So the first thing I can see is this. This is um, the Elf Dewy Setting Mist. What's it called? Yeah. Dewy Setting Mist. So it does smell like coconuts. There's probably coconuts in it. What's the ingredients on the back here? Um, yes, there is some coconut in here. <clears throat> this I paid full price for. It is $8 because it's a repurchase. This is the one I had before. There's some in it. Right. So there's some left to about here in this bottle. I have repurchased this so many times that I can't even tell you what number of repurchase I'm on. 
I think it might be my seventh or my eighth time repurchasing this. So that's how much I love this. I love it. I mean, one, e.l.f. has great setting spray. This one here is the Matte Magic Mist Inset. You can have this bottle for like $6, or you can have a bigger bottle of the exact same thing for $10. And they also have one that is a Illuminizer one, so it gives your face a nice little glow. Again, same price point, they look pretty much the same, they just have a different little saying on the front. So I own two different kind of e.l.f. setting sprays, because I own like a ton of setting sprays. But this one, again, I've, I've lost count of how many times I've repurchased it, because I love it. It gives you the nice finish. It's not a finish that makes it look like shiny. Nothing that looks like you have like sparkles on your face or like you just sprayed your whole face with hairspray or something like that. It just gives you like a nice finish that looks like your skin, but better. So yes, this dewy setting mist, I mean again, this is my backup. When I get to like a quarter left of one, I start freaking out and I'm like, nope, I need to get another one can't live without this stuff. I, I really can't. This is going to go over there in my backup little tray. Thing. I don't know what you call it. Basket? Tray? Right now I'm testing out um, this NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh 8 Hour Multitasking Spray. I like it. It's $15. I mean, size wise, it's you know, pretty comparable. $15 um, at Shoppers Drug Market here in Canada. I like it so far, but the mist is so fine that I don't really know if I've actually gotten my whole face or not. I, I don't know, like maybe I missed the big spot right here because I can't tell because it's just a fine mist. So when I spray with the e.l.f. one, I know exactly where I have been. And I feel like I don't waste product because I know where it went. That's just my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. But I'm just saying that this was a repurchase, this e.l.f. dewy setting mist, and um, highly recommended. Five stars. Next thing on the list, sticking with repurchased things, is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Yes. This is probably going to be a staple for them forever. And the sun is playing hide and go seek today, so sorry if the light keeps changing. We're working with what we got. Um, so I did get a second one, so I do have one already. I bought it like when it first came out. I love it and I was kind of like saving it for like the good days because this stuff is like almost always out of stock and it was funny because they're on Instagram and they were talking about how you know it's their best primer so far which I agree and um, someone was really mad because it wasn't in stock on the website or something like that and um, yeah it was in stock buddy it's just they sell this stuff out so fast they don't have time to like make it. Um, he was even questioning if they actually make their own product. Yes, they, they do. It just, you know, it takes time to like make batches and test them and quality testing and whatnot. So um, let's pull this out of here because I did look up. So for anybody who is unclear of the fact that this is considered a dupe, it, it is. Um, but it's a dupe, but better. So. There was a product, and I looked it up. It is. $68. Yeah. From a brand, again, at Sephora. It's $68 at Sephora. That's $8, by the way. And this is, like, the best thing since sliced bread. Or since Betty White, because Betty White was before yeah, because Betty White was born before they invented sliced bread, but it's pretty much the same thing. So this is the one that I had before, and I was, you know, keeping it for, like, you know, rainy days. But now I have a second one, so I can use it all the days that I want to. Um, the Tatcha one does come with, like, a little nice little scoopy thing, but I happen to have these little buttons around my house. I'd say little cute things. Um, I have them stuck here and there, so I decided to use one of these has my little scoopy thing in there. Um, it is great. So this is like me using six months of it. I mean, not daily use because again, I, I just told you that I've been saving it for a rainy day. But this is the new one. This is what it comes like when it's it's full. 
So it's definitely full, like you can see. It's there, it's full. Um, again, it's in a heat wave, it's super hot. It may have somewhat melted on, on the way here, um, but it didn't change the formula. It didn't change the consistency of anything. No, it feels exactly the same, so yeah. Jacqueline Hill, you have no excuse for your stuff being. See, told you I was gonna throw some shade around. Huh. So, this is a repurchase again. So, I repurchased another e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer at $8. That is their regular price for it to be because I like it that much. Um, some people are paying the $68 for the Tatcha, and um, Jeffree Star on his own decided to test it out because he just wanted to see what the hype was about and he had to nitpick to try to find a difference and um yeah it's just that good so that's why they have a hard time keeping it in stock because once it's in stock everybody like, buys it um if you're really looking for it just sign up on the elf website create yourself a profile and click the little button that says notify me so the next time that they do have it in stock, you're going to get an email knowing that it's in stock and that you'll be able to get it. But yeah, I'm looking at the underneath of it and I mean, they have different batch codes. Again, check on how. Um, and now it says Universal Shear on, on back of the new one. Um, I don't know if they're going to be coming out with like different color ones. That would be kind of cool because I mean, I can see Elf doing that, and I am putting things away as I speak with you. Um, because Elf is very, and has always been, you know, very inclusive for every single shade, color, or skin tone that exists out there. So, it wouldn't surprise me if they were to make a Pearlless Petty primer for um, the chocolate people out there. That wouldn't surprise me at all. They, they would do something like that, and it would, you know, rock everybody's socks off all the time. Just like another one of my favorite products that isn't in here, but it's one of my favorite products. And that product is, of course, the 16-hour camo concealer. I mean, this was their answer to the shirt. I can't say this. Tart Shape Tape. There you go. It was their answer to that, and they blew everybody's socks off because it's $5. $5 on the Elf website. Again, this is all U.S. currency. That I mean, still. In Canadian dollars, it's still better. In Canada, if we want to get anything in the Shape Tape line, we can't get it at the Sephora. We have to buy it from the United States, either through the Ulta website or through the Tarte website themselves. I did the math with shipping and conversion and all that whatnot. It comes to about $58 for a concealer. I am not paying $58. Um, I did get a small sample size of a Tarte Shape Tape from Tarte. So, thanks Tarte. But sorry, I'm not buying your product simply because I can't afford it. I mean, it's way too expensive to get it here in Canada. But then Elf came out with this, and this stuff is the bomb. I mean, I don't look perfect today. I didn't do a huge makeup face look. I've been sick for about a week now. I worked four days in a row, which for me is, is super hard. You know, I'm still recovering from all that. So I still look like I've been tired since 1999. But trust me, I looked even scarier before I put this stuff on. Um, but yeah, this is again another one of my favorites. I do need to go purchase another one in a darker color because I achieved my goal. I told everybody, whether you're new or not, again, if you're new, hi. If you're not, hi. Um, but I told everyone that I was determined to get a tan to go outside, and I do. I just need to show you because I'm excited. Um, I have a tan. I have a little bit of a tan line. And for someone who's agoraphobic, who barely left their house unless they had to for the, the past like 10 years um that's a huge step and in, in, in my life and i'm super happy that i've done that and i'm sharing it with all of you because for some of you this might sound like a dumbass milestone but for me it's a huge thing and i'm sharing it for all of the people out there that are also you know struggling with going outside and and stuff keep working on it don't get there just keep working on it don't get there take some time Get there. Um, another thing that I love from e.l.f. that I'm seeing over here that happens to be in the same primer section is this Prep and Hydrate Balm. Now, Wet n Wild has come out with something very similar, but it's just like a little... I mean, I need to obviously buy another one of these, but I can get these on the regular at my local Walmart. So, it has 
the nice like feeling of a cucumber it, like wakes up your skin it feels like it's cold it's not but it is a very nice and hydrating primer it goes on quite easy because it's a stick so you just kind of like draw all over your face and rub it into your skin but it just feels really refreshing it actually really does like since I'm on the topic of primers few of my favorite elf products are actually skincare so let's just go into that um, this one was in the sale I just didn't get to the sale fast enough they sold out for it but it is called in the t-zone bubble mask it's pretty easy you know you just like wet your skin where you got the t-zone where you really want to get all the oils out two pumps of it and rub it into your skin and it'll start bubbling all on its own it's really cool doesn't hurt doesn't feel like anything but you can just see it like a bubble and it just gets you know these big it gets pretty like puffy you wait for it to get puffy it only takes like five minutes and then you just wash it off with water and it really cleans things up so i mean yay it's probably like six dollars i'm assuming regular price six to eight i mean again very very affordable another thing that i love from e.l.f. and the skincare, and I did get it on sale in the last time they had a sale, so around like Christmas time. Um, and I just kind of bought it on a whim because it was on sale, and I do not regret it. It is the e.l.f. Hydrating Water Essence, so it comes in this bottle. It's $10 regular price. It is very watery, and on its own, I wouldn't call it like a moisturizer. But what I love it for is to give me just a little touch of extra moisture to my skin before I apply my moisturizer because I like having moisturizer with a lot of like hyaluronic acid again my kidneys they aren't doing that well okay they're doing well enough I think I hope I don't know we will find out in about a month or so but right now they're only at 57 percent um of function so hydration is very important for me hyaluronic acid is great to hydrate your skin don't get me wrong but if you put it on your skin and your skin doesn't have moisture in it, it's going to pull the moisture out of your skin. Um, so I don't really know the whole particulars. Oh, actually, I do know the whole particulars. I just don't know how to explain them in everyday people words because I wanted to be a chemist at one point in my life. So I understand all that and whatnot. Um, but I just love this. I mean, I've used this much of it. And you just need, like two little drops I won't even open it up because it's easy to just pour way too much out on your hand if there's one con to this it's, it's that it's really easy to pour too much but you just really need like two little splashes on your hand dab it all over your face like work it in the skin wait a few minutes and then apply your moisturizer on top and um, yeah so for all the people out there that are like you're not 36 yeah I am I just take care of my skin <laughs> I think I don't know I smoked for like 20 something years in my life. I don't know more though. But anyway. Um, another thing that has to do with skincare and all that whatnot. And Emily Noel just talked about this the other day. It is the lip exfoliator. I actually had to look on the side because I'm that tired. My brain just doesn't remember things. Um, I think I've been at this video for like two hours now. Because <laughs> the words just aren't coming. But it just looks like a bullet lipstick. And it has some nice texture to it. So you just put it on like a lipstick and it's got these nice little gritty grains and it gives you hydration and it just kind of wipes off all of like the dead skin cells. It's great. The only thing I would say again as a con for this is don't buy them too much in advance because they will dry out and get pretty gummy after a while. But I mean they're like $2 I think or $3. Um, and the other thing I learned again, the one that has the flavor of sugar that one has bigger crystals in it so I feel like bigger crystals in your scrub get the sugar one and all the other ones so there's cherry sweet grapefruit this one's rosé um, they all have the smaller crystals with that I guess I'll just finish off some of my favorite products from Elf. so some of them are just their pencils like their eyeliners these are usually like a dollar and I was gonna get a few in this order which would have given them to me for like 80 cents I think or something like that um, but again by the time I got around to making the order a lot of them have been sold out in the colors that I want but it's easy to get like black eyeliner like I have makeup subscriptions so they always give you black eyeliner 
So I like the fact they're different colors. This one's a nice satin blue. It's also very nice and easy to work with. The cap has a built-in sharpener. That's pretty cool. Then there's this one. They don't make it anymore. I'm sad. It was called the Waterproof Metallic Liner. One, I need a lot of waterproof things all around my eyes because my eyes water a lot. I have very dry eyes. Um, but I just like the color that it comes up in. I don't know if you can see. It has a little bit of metallics in it. And um, it's not black. But it's not like a light color either. I like having a brown highlighter for just everyday stuff so I don't look like pfft, black around my eyeballs. That's just me though. Um, so I like those. They're about a dollar to two dollars regularly on the e.l.f. website. So I can't go with that. And in the last order where, you know, the sale stuff, and I, I bought this one. Um, I also decided to get um, some, just like the yellow banana colored powder to take away some of like the color in the eyes. No, I did not use it today. I didn't think about it. I mean, it was sitting right in front of me because I had all my favorite things out, but I think because it wasn't in like my everyday makeup stuff. But either way, it works really, really well. I usually use this when I don't wear under eye concealer. Um, just when I have like a powder foundation and I want to cover up some of the colors in there. It's great. I mean, this is probably like $6 full price. Don't quote me on that. But you get a lot of product. Like you get a whole big jar. And the best way to use it is just to take this little thing that came with it and then just pat it in. So let's try it right now and see if it's going to make a difference. Well, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but this eye looks like way better. There's that phone call. So I'm going to pick up that phone call and I'll do the other eye and I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. And what a happy accident that was because I think I look a lot less sick. Now that I've put a little bit of this banana colored powder under my eyes. So, here's the proof right in front of you. Is it the proof is in the pudding or whatever? They could... It works. That's all I gotta say. And it's either $6 full price or something like that or 8 It's nothing more than 8 You get a, a whole lot. Like, I'm gonna be using this till like the end of time. Usually you get like smaller ones when it comes like the yellow powder because you don't do it over your entire face. But this eh, is... Super good, obviously. I like it. I'm happy. Let's move on. Speaking of like eye powder and setting powders, I always purchase one of these every year. About every year. I don't really go through a full one every year, but I just like buying it every year. And then I usually like give like the rest of it to a friend or sometimes when there's a lot of it left. I'll uh, put it like in my little group of sales stuff that I do. Um, so it's called the HD Under Eye Setting Powder. It's a very small thing, but man, does it work. Again, this is probably my third repurchase of this one. If not, my fourth. I'm not kidding. It does come with this little weird thing that I can't get out. So another thing that I have to say about e.l.f. packaging, other companies need to call them up and ask them how to make like steel-proof packaging because these things, again... They're very well packaged. Packaging is kept, you know, pretty minimal, which is maybe how they do save money and they're able to bring us good quality things at a lower price. I don't know, but it's hard to get into them. And that's good because I go to winners a lot and people steal. Freaking time. Stop stealing people. That's not good. Stop. Stop being jerks. Um, but anyway, it comes in this tiny little jar. So with this big. And there is a little sticker, so you take that off. So I'm going to try to do that here. Pull to open. Okay, well, I did my nails for like the first time in months. Um, I just had some things in my personal life. There were some negative people, some negative things, and I finally walked away from all that. And I'm for the better. Things are going really well. I'm starting to really feel like myself again. The old me, even though I'm still again recuperating from a lot of things, but that's okay. Um, just gotta get it all. Yeah. So you just want to pull like the little tabs off with like little tweezers, because other than that, it's a, it's a very finely milled powder. And even though this one doesn't say pour powder here in their covers, because most e.l.f. products say pour powder here in the cover, um, you can always use it for that, because that way you don't lose any. 
um, you don't need a lot of this. I mean, I just put a teeny weeny bit here, um, just to show, like, that's it. And, um, I can't get my finger in there. <laughs> I can't get my finger in it because I got my nails. Right. So, it's on my hand. And it really has a nice milled. It's very finely milled. It's just great for setting your under eye concealer if you want to. And if you have like an eyelid primer. So, I cannot think of anything today. My brain is just not brainy. I don't. Wow. Kudos to you if you made it this far because this is like everywhere. Wow. You are going to be after doing a lot of editing in this one for sure. Okay. This next thing I got with my points. So when you have an account with e.l.f. on their website, you can just join their beauty squad. It gives you some points after purchases. It's pretty easy to rack up the points. Um, for a while, I was, you know, because you can get points if you share, uh, like, you know, invite friends. I had invited so many friends from around here because nobody had ever heard of this brand. They wanted good quality, not too much money. I had so many people and I had so many points that my account actually got locked out. I had to create a whole brand new one. But that was then, this is now. So this is I when I got with my points. This is a new account. It's uh, bright pink. I don't know if I can pull this off or not. But let's talk about like e.l.f. moisturizing lipsticks. I used to have a lot of them. I did declutter them simply because I now have those colors in like other brands and I just want the name brand because I'm a name brand whore not because they weren't very good. But I do not have anything in this color. Like, whoa, this, this is bright. And again, there, there's nothing wrong with their bullet lipsticks. Like, it's amazing. It, it's just great. Um, so, oh, wow, like, that's the color it comes up as. Swatch the wrong hand again. I always do that. And just, you know, for giggles, because again, I'm a neighboring whore. So, let's take this Too Faced um, Peach Kiss and uh, Drunk Dial, which is pretty close to the color, actually. And the creaminess, the, the, it feels the same way. It's just very close when it comes to formula and whatnot so that's just to say that this is I don't know how much it's for like 20 something for sure and um, these are three I think regular price or six regular price either way it's a good price so let's see if I can pull this color off or not give it a try well I'm not gonna say no I'm not gonna say no to this color it might be super super bright but it tastes good too. Yeah, it tastes good. All the lipstick tastes good. I don't, I don't know what it smells like because my smeller don't smell like nothing right now. It's all stuffed up. But it, it's going to go in my collection. Um, Yeah, it feels really good on the lips again. Their formula is just really, really good. So there's nothing in there to complain about at all. But yeah, I think I may be able to pull this color off. It wasn't something that I think I could. But hey, you never know. The next thing that are in here are the brushes again. I talked about them before. I did order some brushes because I wanted to get more brushes. The first thing I noticed when I was looking through it yesterday is that actually these two brushes are in the new packaging. Um, same quality, same brushes. It's just their new packaging for it. And again, it does say that it's a cruelty-free vegan on the back. I don't know if you can read that. It's, it's on the other one again, no animal testing, but I um, just love these brushes. So I did get two buffing foundation brushes. I am very in tune with the quality that comes with these black candle brushes. So I am not going to be disappointed at all. I just needed a little bit more fluffy brushes for my face stuff. So, ooh, this one's really nice. So it's nice and dense. I mean, it is supposed to be a foundation brush. I don't usually use brushes for foundations, but this is great for like setting powder like under your eyes and there. And brushes, you can do whatever the heck you want with them. 
or any kind of makeup. You can do whatever you want, except for things with glitter. There's certain things that should not be close to your eyes, and there's certain things that should not go on your lips. Other than that, you can do whatever you want. Makeup is like an art. It's subjective. Do whatever the heck you want. So I have two of these brushes. They are nice and soft. I hope you can see that. Yeah, super happy. The new packaging is just pink. Same stuff in it, just new packaging. So this one here is a flawless face brush. So I did need another big poofy face brush. And all of these brushes during the sale, I got them for $2.40 each. So this one here is the face brush. And it's, it's just soft. A little bit more fluffier. And not as dense which is fine which is what I wanted than the other one so this is the foundation one they kind of look very similar this one's just a little bit bigger a little bit fluffier which is great so this is great for just like setting powers around the face bronzers or whatnot um it does have a little bit of an oval shape to it which I'm not mad at I'm not mad at all so I'm very very happy with this so three great brushes I mean the quality in here is definitely there you can't even get something half this quality for twice the price at winners so I mean yay me the next thing I ordered is this cream eyeliner in coffee and I'm trying to get more into like cream eyeliners I don't know why I just decided that I wanted to like give those a try and I recently just actually bought one from Essence so we're going to compare them because the one from Essence, I'm looking at it uh, right here. It's a gel eyeliner. You can see that. And it doesn't really look like gel on the inside. I mean, it's, it's pretty, like, cream. And it doesn't feel like a gel. Not that I know what a gel would really be. Because I, I don't know. But let's see what this one. And this one is, again, not black. It's, it's in the color called coffee. So I like brown for just everyday looks. And again, they have the little thing in the corner. Again, companies up there, hit up Elf Cosmetics if you want to know how to have like tamper-proof products. There you go. Let's get it out. Uh, do these things work? Well, kind of. I mean, in a pinch, but we have other brushes. Or I have other brushes. So this is what it looks like in the jar. This is the size. Um, this is the Essence one. So comes to product amount, very similar, maybe it'll tell me, maybe it won't, um, yeah, yeah, it will tell me, hold on, I need to find a box to get through it, found it, the Essence Gel Eyeliner has, uh, three grams of product, and the e.l.f. one has 4.7 grams, so there's actually more cream eyeliner with the e.l.f. product, and, Price point are similar. I think this is $4 regular price, and I do believe this was about $4 as well. But let's just look at the difference in the quality, because that's what matters to me. Now I'm going to actually use the exact same brush with both of them. This is the little brush. It is from, I don't even know the company. I got it in a face sugar bag, so if you're ever interested in knowing what a face sugar is, I have a few videos about that. I will link them below. Um, it's a monthly subscription, but you get full-size products. Um, I forget what the brand is, but it's a very, very good, and I love how it's very precise. I don't need to do some, like, line. I'm going to start with the Essence Gel, because I've used it a few times before, and I have to, like, wipe it on the side of the pot, because it kind of, like, gives me too much, so this is the line it's going to give me. I'm not really good at making things precise, but I'm not trying to make them precise. I'm just trying to see how easy it is to drag it across my hand. And it's, it's, all right. So let's go back to our rehydrated makeup wipe. We got all the color out of this one. And at this color here, um, I could actually probably use it in my eyebrows too. Maybe. Oh, whoa. This stuff, I'm, I'm already impressed. I can already tell by the way. It's sitting on my brush. Can you see it? I think I'm going to be impressed, but could be wrong. Oh, heck yeah. I don't know if you can see my hand, 
well enough in the brown. But it would be really easy to do some very small, fine details with the proper brush with this e.l.f. Um, so, when it comes to cream eyeliners, e.l.f. wins! And I'm comparing drugstore to drugstore here, so I mean, same price point, same everything. Yes, we are almost done, but I am saving the best for last. I'm saving the highlighter for last. Um, this was one of the gifts. So, every time that you order from e.l.f. Cosmetics, if your order is over $25, as a Canadian, your shipping is $4.70, I believe, something like that. Um, if you're in the United States, your shipping is free, but in Canada, there's a little bit of an extra. I think it's like $4 or something like that. Um, and if you do go over a certain amount, um, the amount has changed on the Canada side. You may have to pay duties, depending on how big your, your order is. If you don't want to have to pay duties, then just place two same orders, both under $30, bucks, will be fine. And every time you order over $25, they give you a free gift. And this happened to be the free gift this time. So this is the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. And um, again, people call up e.l.f. and ask them how to get tamper-proof packaging because it's hard to get out of there. Like, there you go. It's just basic colors. Yeah, that is. So this is the colors that they came up in. I hope you can see them come up. So they start, you know, pretty basic. They're all matte colors. So if you're a neutral kind of person or you just want a bunch of transition shades, this is just great for that. And this is $10. $10. They've always been $10. Everything in this format are $10. And um, I mention this because my favorite palette of all time is also from there. Um, and again, there's another one, same format. This is the Nude Rose Gold. So, this one that we just got is called the Mad for Mattes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to, like, declutter it or not. Because I do have a huge, um, by Absolute Beauty that has all, like, the transition and matte shades. But I still might keep this one anyway, and I might get rid of the Iconic Beauty. I don't know. We'll see which one I use the most. These are just great transition shades. And then the one that I just love so much is the Nude Rose Gold Palette. So I think I've talked about this before. Eh. So they, I think they, they seem to like look the same, I guess, with this light. I hope you can see the difference between them. These are some purpley kind of shades. This shade I use pretty much every single day. And um, then you can play around with these here. And you can get a great, great look. Most of them come with like a matte white over here. Don't underestimate the power of a matte white eyeshadow. It can kind of save the day sometimes. But this is them on top of each other. So this is the nude rose gold. This is uh, the matte from mattes. They tend to follow um, the same kind of like color scheme. Unless you, you go to other ones that aren't like that. They have... I had one before that had like some blue in there and whatnot. Yeah. Don't know why I got rid of it. I didn't use it. I don't know. Um, but I'm happy with this one, so they are both going to go into my everyday stash. Because I might just actually use the Mad for Matte every day. And I might just get rid of the whole huge iconic beauty palette. Or I might just keep both. I just put a little bit of hair in there. But yeah, this was free with my order. If I want to buy it full price, it's $10. And at $10, it is worth it. The quality that these eyeshadow palettes have are just amazing. I mean, again, I use this one, this Nude Rose Gold, almost every single day at some point in part of my routine in my eyes. And I have some pretty high expensive ones back there. Now, the last one. The one you've been waiting for. The highlight. Let's get to the highlight. Of course I got highlighter. It was on sale for, I think, $2.40. Regular price is most probably six dollars, maybe eight, maybe eight. Eight is the most that it's going to be. Um, again, my brain isn't braining that well today, but I, it's actually if I think back, I think it's like eight dollars. And um, yeah, honorable mention again, one of my favorite ones is this glow stick. I think I call it. Yeah, it just has this pretty gold. I mean, roll it up. This one here is my second or third repurchase of it as well. I love it. It's kind of like a cream highlight, so there you go. 
swatching all in the wrong hands, but we're just going to like sweep them over. I love this. I mean, it's in my staples. It's in my everyday drawer. So this color here, I mean, I love their shimmering highlighting ones. I can't get enough. They are $8. Um, so this one here was Sunset Glow. It is a little bit darker, but that's okay. All right, so this is the color. Now, before I swatch this, this is where I'm going to get to the fun stuff. Remember I told you that I was going to compare like the e.l.f. to a Sephora product? And the e.l.f. one wins. Um, so this one again, it's $8. I just wrote it down. And um, this is Becca Highlighter. It is $46 right now at Sephora. And you actually get... A little bit more in this one. Let me go check. I just took the box away. So, yeah, you do get a little more product in the e.l.f. Not by much, but you do. I just looked at the box. I'm looking at it right now. Um, the e.l.f. one has 0 0.28 ounces of product. And the Becca one from the Sephora listing at $46 has 0 0.25 ounces. So these are pretty much the same shade. Let me show you. They almost have the same shade. The only thing is this Becca one, I kind of dropped it. And um, it kind of fell out, but it fell out in like one huge chunk. But that doesn't change the formula of anything. So we're going to swatch a little bit. So this is Becca Highlighter, $46. And the color Pearl. So let's do that right there. I mean... Becca is usually like what everybody refers to everything else when it comes to highlight. Well, mm -hmm. let's try the elf one, shall we? So this is in... Actually, this one doesn't have a color because this was the first time that Shimmering Highlight Powder came out. I bought it back then. They didn't have a range of colors. They just had like one color. Um, so again, this was the Becca line. And that's the elf. You see it? Someone's at my door. Sorry about that, people. Sorry. Um, it was actually a very important people at my door. So, we're going to get back to this. So, this one is the Elf Highlight. And this one is Becca. This one's $46, and this one's 8 And the 8 one it tends to pop a little bit more have a little bit more light to it. I mean, the Becca one's great, don't get me wrong. But this one seems to just be less powdery, less patchy, and it seems to give more of that like wet look effect to things. So, um, so let's try the new one, and we're gonna swipe that one next to the bulb. It is a little bit darker, but it's okay. It's still on my colors, so let's see. Right. It's not really coming up as any color on my arm. But can you see the reflection though? Mm, yeah, kind of. Not as much as the original. I do have to say not as much as the original. But sometimes you don't want to look like you're glowing from the stars like a Twilight vampire. I mean, I do. I do any single day of the week. Yeah, I mean, it's there. I'm super happy with that. Super happy with everything. Again, everything that I bought in this whole order came to tw less than $26 American. So let me just go bring back everything that was in the order and show you the entire order. All right, so here's the end. You made it this far. Congratulations. I can't believe I did too, because it's been like three hours for me, but you know edited for all of you. Um, in this complete order that came to $25.45 American and Canadian it came to like $32. No joke with shipping. Um, we got a new poreless putty primer so I can use my other one and I don't have to worry about you know not having enough because it's just great again at $8 full price. We also got another dewy setting mist that again is like my 10th or something like that repurchase. I'm not joking if I go to 10. I mean, I'll eventually get to 10 if I'm not at 10 yet. I just love this. Again, $8 full price. 
we got three good face brushes. They were $2.40 each. As a free gift from e.l.f., I got this full-size eyeshadow, um, Mad for Matte. And it's usually $10, but it's a free gift as well. And then I got this lipstick, this bright pink that I think I'm going to like, I'm rocking this. I'm going to keep this. I'm definitely doing that. That was with my points. Uh, I think this is regular $3 for free uh, with my points. And then I got a awesome cream eyeliner in uh, this brown coffee color that um, kicked butt against the other competition. And then I got another HD eye setting powder. And um, I got another little, well, not little, actually, pretty huge highlighter. And I love highlight more than anything else in this world. So this is it. That was my order. And that was also my favorite things from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I'm going to thank every one of you if you've made it this far. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, let me know below. Again, if you want to subscribe, be pretty cool. If you don't, still love you. Come back another time. With that, um, have yourself a great week.